Hey, this is Brett Stewart. I wanted to release this week's video on home recording to discuss the different programs you can use when you're creating your audio and creating your songs. Because I get questions about this every single week about what program should I use on Windows, what program should I use on Mac. So we're going to go through that. So first, let's talk about Mac programs. For Mac, you really only have two main options, and they're both made by Apple, but it doesn't really matter because they're both pretty good and pretty high quality. So firstly, you can use GarageBand. Now, GarageBand is actually what I use pretty frequently, and I actually really like GarageBand, and I highly encourage you to try it if you have a Mac. It does great multi-tracking, it's a good program. If you need an upgrade from GarageBand, you, what you do is you go to Logic, and uh, Apple's currently on Logic Pro 9, um, and Logic is about $200, and it's basically GarageBand on steroids, and it has all sorts of presets, all sorts of plugins, and it's really cool to play around with. In addition to that, if you have a Mac, you can also get a program called MainStage. And now they sell MainStage for $100. And basically what it does is it lets you act all your mixes and combine them all while you're playing live. So if you're one of those people who goes on GarageBand or goes on Logic and makes a bunch of mixes and a bunch of effects and that's what makes your song cool, then that's the way you recreate that live. So all three of those softwares are really great, all in the description below. Let's talk about Windows softwares. Now obviously you have more selection on Windows, as is the nature of Windows. Firstly, you have Cubis. Now Cubis is usually uh, distributed as the LE, which stands for light, because the regular one's astronomically expensive. And you can get the Cubis LEs. Normally they come with Tascam audio interfaces, and those are the audio interfaces I recommend. So if you buy a Tascam, I would, I would try out Cubis, because it's like a $100, $200 program, and it's pretty good. So what I would do is try Try that out and see if it works for you. Let's also talk about a couple other ones. Another option is Sony Acid. Now Sony Acid is actually a really cool uh, suite and I've used it pretty extensively. You can get the consumer version for like 60 bucks and you can get the hardcore version for like a little under 200 bucks. Both of them work great and are awesome softwares. I would highly suggest Sony Acid. Keep in mind that all these uh, Windows softwares that I'm telling you about have free trials. So what I would do is download them all and figure out what you like the best and figure out also what's in your budget. Let's talk about another software. Now, next one is Pro Tools. Now, you've probably heard a lot about Pro Tools if you've talked to anyone who does uh, studio recording, if you've talked to a producer, if you've talked to the internet, if you've gone on forums, you've heard about Pro Tools, Pro Tools, Pro Tools. Now, Pro Tools isn't necessarily that good for home studio recording, simply because it's very advanced and it's very expensive. Now, if you buy an M if you buy an M box audio interface, and those are normally sold at Best Buy, those come with an Express version of Pro Tools, which is probably about the equivalent to the Cubis LE. I would suggest trying it. I've heard there's some issues with it, but I've also heard there's some good things with it. So I would try it and see how it works, but otherwise I wouldn't invest in Pro Tools because Acid for under $200 is probably going to prove much more useful. So I just kind of wanted to elaborate on Pro Tools since I get a lot of questions about it. Let's talk about another opportunity. Finally, I have one more suggestion for you guys. There's this company called NCH. Now, NCH creates a dozen different softwares, all different sorts of softwares, and a lot of them aren't that very good, and a lot of them are really good. So actually, they create two softwares which are pretty cool. They create Mixpad and WavePad. Mixpad is multi-track recording. So that does exactly what your GarageBand's going to do, what your Cubis is going to do, what your Acid is going to do. It's not very advanced, it's pretty borderline, but you can actually download it for free, and if you want an advanced version, you can pay 40 bucks, and if you want a really advanced version, you can pay about 70 bucks. So it's a really inexpensive software if you like using it. It may be a solution for an inexpensive Windows software. In addition to that, they also have WavePad. WavePad is an audio editor. So you have to use these two in conjunction with each other because you have to mix it on MixPad, and you have to record it on MixPad, and then you got to bring it over the WavePad to actually uh, edit it. The good news is that WavePad is completely free, so the only investment you're driving in the NCH is the cost of MixPad. Once again, both of them have free versions, so I would try out both of them and see how they work for you. Finally, you have good old Audacity. Audacity is a good program. I mean, everyone uses it. Uh, everyone knows about it. It's on Mac. It's on Windows. It's free. Um, and it works, you know, you can do some multi-track recording on it, it'll connect to your audio interface, and it's really, really, really borderline simple. It's not a hard program to use, and you're not going to get anything spectacular out of it. But if you're just starting off, and you just want to mess around, and you don't want to spend any money, uh, Audacity might be the way to go. So let's talk about my suggestions uh, for both. 
For Apple, I would highly suggest using GarageBand. I don't think you should upgrade to Logic unless you really need it. The only reason to upgrade to Logic is if you need to record more than 16 tracks, which is a simultaneous amount that GarageBand will let you do, or if you need all the plugins and stuff that's on Logic. I think GarageBand will suit you just fine for your home recording if you're on a Mac. If you are on a PC, I would highly suggest the Sony Asset Suites. The consumer is about $60 and it's very good, and the advanced ones are a little under $200, and that's also very, very good. Under $200 is a good price to pay for a very advanced suite. Sony's interfaces are very good. At, to actually to do all of my audio and um, video editing, I use Sony Vegas, which is the uh, film equivalent of Acid. So I would highly suggest the Acid Suites, which are available for a trial for uh, Windows. That is my suggestions. Um, hopefully this video helps all of you and hopefully this clears up some of those questions that I keep getting regarding different softwares. If you'd like to talk about some other softwares or you have comments regarding the softwares I talked about, as always, please leave them in the comments. I wanted to mention this video that I am releasing a new album soon with, that my, al with my band, The Twin Thieves. So, uh, right around 25 seconds left on this video, in this corner, it's going to start showing that. Um, and just click on it. It's called Under Our Blood Red Skies, and you should check out that single. Hopefully you like it. And in addition to that, you should go like me on Facebook if you really enjoy these videos, because it helps me out a lot if you like me on Facebook and you subscribe. And I really appreciate it, and I love to hear from you guys, and I love answering questions, and I love all the support I'm getting. So thank you so much. I love all of you, and thanks for your support, and I will see you in two weeks. And this Thursday, there will be another video for my songs. As always, thanks for watching.